The Samsung ICR18650, the purple battery, um, 26F, or model number SD1i, or 2E14, whatever you want to get the information out of. These are ICR batteries, guys. They're not IMR. Um, they are pretty high drain for what it is, 5, five amps-ish. Um, I'm not quite sure, but it's about 5 amps. Um, so, why did I get this battery? Well, it's rated at 2600 milliamp hours. So I'm back uh, and I tested out that Samsung battery, the ICR battery. Um, and it's freaking awesome, guys. It lasts freaking forever. It lasts me longer than a day. And if the battery lasts me longer than a day, it's freaking awesome. Um, it's in this VAMO and it's in this uh, ELBT. Both of them. I mean, I picked one, used it until the battery totally drained. Then picked another one, used it until the battery totally drained. And they both lasted for longer than a day. Which is incredible. Incredible. I believe it's 2600 milliamp hours, but it feels like it's a 3500. It just lasts forever. Um, compared to either the Sony VT4 or even the FS, um, no contest as far as longevity. Definitely worth it. Um, I'm vaping the K5 at 4.5 volts, and it's just been freaking working. Um, I do have 3.7. 7 volts left on this battery, and it's been like that. Uh, this is my third day on it, on and off vaping. Third day, so it's lasting freaking forever. Again, I just can't get over that flavor. It's, um, <clears throat> same with this uh, ELBT with that Samsung battery. It is a 5.2 amp continuous discharge, so I know I'm safe on these devices. Let's uh, check the ohms, right? Hmm? I think that's the way you check the ohms. Yes. Um, 2.1 ohms. And how many batteries left? No. Okay, that's not. I have 3.9 volts left on this battery. It's the same battery as the Samsung battery. This one never comes out. I just charge it with the onboard charger. Delicious. Um, <coughs> So that is how it stood up. Definitely recommend the Samsung ICR batteries. The price is freaking spot on. It freaking performs. It hits the way it's supposed to. It's a very later mod. But um, it freaking longevity wise, it just goes on forever. Um, it does take longer charging. It is an ICR battery. Much higher as far as um, how volatile it is. So I don't suggest you putting it in mechanical mods because if you do draw anymore, it's not going to vent like the, the um, IMR batteries. Or it just, you know, kindly, kindly spews out a little gas. Um, it's much more highly volatile reaction when it does overheat or vent. So, um, definitely recommend it on unvariable voltage devices um, that have like 5 amp or 3 amp limits. Uh, not on the DNA mod. Don't, don't put that battery in the DNA mod. But it does, it does serve a purpose. And that's the reason why I got it. Great little battery. All right, thanks for watching. Guys. All right, guys. So a quick update on that battery video. Um, so I have it in my Vamo, and I do have it in my ELG TV, the uh, Samsung ICR battery. Now I tried my best to drain these within a day, and I couldn't do it. Okay, so one full day of vaping on each device, and I couldn't drain them, um, which is freaking awesome. It's a 5.2 amp limit battery, so just know your limitations with the batteries. At the same time, you have much, much higher milliamp hours, so the battery does last a very long time. Especially in regulated devices, it's really hard to beat. Now, um, I have not put this battery in mech mod, nor would I want to. Because there's that chance of you screwing up, um, you going below that 0.8 ohm marker, just and it's an ICR guy, so with ICR batteries, it is highly volatile. It won't vent like IMRs will. I mean, no vent, but the reaction to the venting for the IMRs is much, much more toned down. Um, when it vents, it'll just spew out a little bit of gas. Um, if anything, it'll spew some some liquid, you know. But it's not going to be that like crazy volatile explosion type, you know, venting. With the ICRs, though, when you do vent them, it is quite a bit more reactive so you will have a lot more scarier reaction um, so if you're going to use the ICR Samsung batteries I suggest you use them in um, these kind of devices right here something like these um, 
that do have like a, a limit on the board, so it could only zap so much power out of the battery before the board says I can't handle it and I won't do it. Um, that's kind of what I recommend. But with that in mind, these batteries are freaking awesome. Um, awesome, awesome. I've been vaping on these two. I just charged both up. Um, I've been vaping on it for two and a half days. That's incredible. Incredible battery life. I can drain it within a day and a half. Um, a little bit over a day, I could drain the batteries. I can if I wanted to, um, if I chain vaped it. But I tried chain vaping for a day, and it lasted maybe a whole freaking day. Freaking awesome. So um, basically, I've been using these. Um, the K Fun. I put a chimney coil in here, and it's just been and like it's a 1.35 ohm coil, but then my Vama reads it at 1.2, which is perfectly fine. Perfectly fine because I can still fire it on my Vamo. Um, it's been performing freaking awesome with that Samsung battery. Freaking amazing. Again, this one too. So, King of Protein with that airflow valve upgrade, it just it beats out the Nautilus now. These two are pretty much the only um, variable voltage devices that I'm using right now. Um, and I seem to be using them again. They, they were on my shelf for like a month. Finally using it again. Freaking awesome. Um, a little update on my current setup. I just wrapped new coils just now on my Helios. Um, it's been freaking working awesome. So that's kind of my update for the Samsung. Thanks for watching.